G'day. If you're an Australian teacher, especially an early years teacher, so kindergarten or prep, then year one, year two, year three, uh, and pretty much all through primary school, you are generally required to use a specific font for the state you're in, and it's used to teach children letter recognition and handwriting formation and uh, letter formation and so on. Um, depending on which state you're in, it might be called foundation font or beginner font, and it does vary slightly from state to state. The problem for anyone who uses Google Docs is that you have not been able to install these fonts. So even though you can technically go and buy these fonts uh, and install them into a conventional computing system, on a cloud system like Google Docs, you've not been able to do that. So I'm really pleased to be able to tell you that as of today, you now have these fonts available to you inside Google Docs. Let me show you how. If you go to the font menu here and go to more fonts, you'll see you have the standard list of fonts that you've always had, uh, and these fonts have not been part of it. But now, if you come to the search box up here and you type your state, say New South Wales, there is the New South Wales ACT Foundation font. Uh, it's a, this is the same font that's used in both New South Wales and ACT, and it's called Foundation. And if you click it, it goes blue and adds it to your list on the side here. And now when you click OK, uh, when you say select some text and go to make this change, you now have Foundation font as an option. In fact, you have four different weights of this font, normal, medium, semi-bold, and bold. And so you can choose one of those, and it turns your text into the correct font. Now, a couple of tips. Uh, if you search for, go back to more fonts, if you search for your state name like New South Wales, it's pretty obvious. If you choose another state name like, say, Queensland, QLD, uh, you find the Queensland one and you can add that. Uh, if you were to add, say, South Australia by typing SA, it's a little bit more problematic because lots of fonts have the letters SA combination in them. And so it will be in this list somewhere, but there's a lot of other things, so it might be hard to find. So hot tip, if you are looking for these things, just start with the word EDU and you'll find all of them because they are all prefaced with EDU in the name. So it makes it easy to search for them. So the, the naming convention there is EDU space the state name, followed by either beginner or foundation, depending on what it's called in that state. So uh, very easy to add things, just tick them and say OK, and now they become a member of that font list. And you can see there they all are right there. So I'll change this one to normal Victorian beginner font, and there it is. Now, if you're a teacher who uses this all the time, uh, well, A, I hope this is good news for you, but B, you might want to create documents so that this is the default, so that you're not constantly having to change it to this font every single time you make a document, because if you're making documents for your students, chances are you want it to be this every time anyway. What you can do is just change some of the text. So this is just what's called normal text. It's, it's a particular style. Normal text is just the standard text that comes inside the document. Select it make your font change, and then go up to the menu here, and from normal text, come down to where it says update normal text to match. That will then change the definition of normal text so that it now, it becomes the style of this particular text, which is Victorian beginner. But it will also then filter down to all the subheadings as well. So heading one, heading two, heading three, even the title, not the subtitle, just watch that one. If you want that, you need to change that manually. But all the others, they get automatically changed because they're based on whatever the, the, the base text is, the normal text. So you can change all of your heading styles to uh, the particular font you want. And once you've done that, if you come down to the bottom where it says options, you can say save as my default styles. When you do that, that now means that this font set becomes the default. So if I was to go to Google Docs, for example, and open a new document, uh, and load that document, it would actually have these as the standard fonts instead. And if you ever change your mind and need to go back, you can always come to the menu here, down to options, and just say reset the styles, and it will go back to whatever the standard ones are in Google Docs, which I believe is Arial. So there you go. I hope that makes you very happy. If you're one of those teachers who's been asking for this for a very long time, that's uh, pretty exciting that it's finally here.